In first grade, you learned many strategies to help you add and subtract. One of these strategies is counting on and counting back. We count up when we add and count back when we subtract. A number line, counters, drawings, or even our fingers can help us learn this strategy. Once you have a lot of practice with this strategy, you will be able to do it in your head using mental math. This strategy can save you time. For instance, when solving 14 plus 5, it is efficient to determine the highest number, which is 14, and count on, or up 5. It would take us much longer to solve that expression if we started counting at 0 to 14 before counting on 5 more. Watch as Joe counts on using a number line. 14 plus 5. Let's use the same numbers and change the operation to subtraction. 14 minus 5. Now we count back. We start with the highest number, 14, and count back 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let's practice a few more of each operation. 24 plus 6. We are adding, which means we will have to go up the number line because adding means to have more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The sum is 30. 7 plus 21. The highest number is 21. We will start with that number, so we only have to add 7 from there rather than counting on from 7 and adding 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 28 minus 4. He's counting back. 28 minus 4 equals 24. Let's try one last problem. 3 plus 33. He counts up to 3 from 33. 3 plus 33 equals 36. If you do not have a number line to practice with at home, create one using sidewalk chalk. It's so much fun! Remember, when you create a number line, you do not need to start at zero. Joe would like more challenge, so he creates a number line that starts at 10 instead of zero. Watch him subtract 17 minus 5 by counting back. 12. Now he adds 9 and 10. Good job, Joe. You started with the highest number, which is 10, and then added 9. Nine plus 10 equals 19. Create your own number line at home and play the fun games linked below for more practice. Keep on counting and you'll be on track to mental math and won't look back.